Hey there, we're back. It's uh, me, Michael, and we got Cody here, and we're at the Tavares Seaplane Park. That's the ferry boat right there. This is the Seaplane Park. Um, last time on our adventure, we went left, which went down to Mount Dora area. Today, we're going to take a right, going that way, and over there is going to be the entrance to uh, Lake Dora uh, Canal. So we'll see. This is what we got. And as promised, I got the new flag. Hopefully we'll be seen out there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started now. So here we are. We are in the legendary uh, historical Lake Dora Canal. Uh, the water looks rather green looking, but uh, then again, it is kind of still kind of dark out. It's not full sun out. There's Cody right there. What is happening? Hey. This is pretty cool. There's all little parks around here. I don't know what park that is. Oh, you know what? I think I know where we are. So this connects to where, um, you know how it used to be uh, Taco John's? Or no, you don't know. Uh, yeah, the Taco John's used to be over there and then turn into a Dunkin' Donuts. But this is a little park that you see over here. Oh, wow. Okay. So these are all, oh, wow, these are all the 55 plus homes right here that's right behind over by where the um, courthouse is. We're about to be going under the bridge. Oh look, there's a uh, crane. Hey little guy. What are you doing? Oh, it's actually real? Yeah, that's real. <laughs> Echo! Whoa. Echo! Woohoo! <laughs> that's funny. Ten foot deep. Okay. It looks like we're actually going pretty fast, but we're only going speed number two. Yep. So imagine how fast we were going um, in, in the lake, then we were full speed that whole time. But it don't look like it because you don't see anything moving. You know. It is a nice little canal. It really is. And they do tours down these canals, I think. But of course, why pay the money for the tours when you can just do it yourself, right? <laughs> I also love these bonsai trees. Now, it was a little bit of a choppy water, though, getting in from Tavares to here. We weren't too sure. Uh, so we would have uh, filmed it from us leaving Tavares to here, but uh, it was very dicey. Uh, to get there, um, but we, we managed to get there. Oh. Did you take a photo? There it is. Cody's sorry about that. Cody's taking a photo of me. But, um, yeah, this is the port. Thought we'd come to another bridge, it looks like, up here. Um, so far, though, today, even when we're in the regular lake moving our way forward, uh, we didn't see any boats out there yet today. So yeah, the water was awfully, uh, awfully choppy. It would be a little bit dicey to, to, we definitely, I don't think we definitely could have not done what we did yesterday. There's no way we would have made it from, no. uh, where we are, we were in Tiberius all the way to Mount Dora and back with the way the water was. It was way too, too choppy. And this Man. is kind of, and this is kind of like why streams and stuff are better for, um, kayaking, canoeing, you know, little canals like this. Yeah. Because it stays pretty calm usually. Not a whole lot of movement. Is. The per person perspective, they want to see what a canal looks like by trailing through it. And since there's no big storms that come through canals, it's nice and calm waters. The only small dangers are, since this is Florida, it's also known as the swamplands, uh, there's alligators, there's moccasins, and um, I don't think a snapping turtle will jump in your boat and bite you, but... A water moccasin, yeah, might jump in your boat. A yeah. small vessel like this, it could just leap over. And there's an alligator right there. We just passed by two of them. Oh shit. They're babies. <laughs> but, you know, alligators out here, they're just calm. They're out here just enjoying themselves. Do you think that one would jump in our boat? No. no. If we were towards his territory, maybe so. More towards maintenance season time. Yeah. It looks like they're just on the side enjoying themselves. I 
There's another bridge. There's a bird over there. Oh shit, there's a gator under right there. I can see breathing. Where? Reed just ran over it. Oh, one right there too. I don't know how deep it is over here. It's one thing a little bit scary about a canal is whenever it's uh, really murky like this and you can't see under it. Yeah. As I'm waiting for some friends from Illinois to come out this way, I promise I would show them around Florida. Yeah. This is Florida right here. Yeah. It's a beautiful view. I think we might be already in that stretch where it showed like um all like the nature looking area. Yeah. So I think that's gators right there, isn't it? Where you see breathing breathing? Yep, that would be a gator. Or the water falling from a tree, making bubbles. Oh. Let's get to the ravines, no way, no outlet. since I really can't turn around to look behind me. Yeah. I have to use my camera. <laughs> Another crane. This is where we're going to be filming uh, Jurassic World 3, I think, right? <laughs> <laughs> it sure would make a good part for it. Dun, 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 dun. Faster all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared to go. 
Yeah, I'll slow down. Eaton Village. Oh, that's... I know where that is. That's over the bridge, like, I'm going towards Leesburg. Okay. And there is stress is not far away where I work. That's where you can do boat tours, too. Kiki Village. That log looks almost like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see how high gear was for a second there. It was moving pretty good though for high gear. <laughs> but yes, that's why you wouldn't really want a gas powered one for if you're wanting to see nature. You know, because I could even turn this down just a little bit more and be more quiet and just kind of cruise. And since this is alligator elements, they can feel the ripples in the water know something's here, meaning us. And they'll attack us, you're saying? Hmm? They'll attack us, you're saying? No, they, they, they would feel the water. Oh. Their sensors would let them know if something entered the water or not. Oh, they stay away pretty much? Yeah. Because they're scared of us, and we're scared of them. It's funny how that works, right? Red shouldered hawk. Huh? That the noise is a red shouldered hawk. Probably a female. I wonder if there's any trails for these woods out here. Really nice. Oh, there's a boat coming. He's definitely uh, going faster than what he's supposed to be. I would say that has a wake to it, when it says no wake zone. Yeah. It's the bass boat, what you'd expect. Yeah.
Yeah, you can smell the gas engine. Yep, smells like gas. It's okay, it's okay. Just don't jump bad. out, don't do it. Really bad. You don't want to go in there. No, oh, those gators. But I might want some gator tail. Don't get my gator tail. definitely a really interesting um, canal to check out if you ever get a chance to you know either go kayaking um Tavares actually has a kayaking rental they do I think they only do it though when the water's more calmer out because um, I didn't see today but I did see it a couple days back oh, there's a boat That one actually, that the waves were actually less than the ones that were, um, the bass boat was bass boat. Bad. So no wake zone, man. <laughs> Do not wake up. <laughs> wake up, the will be shit. Oh, there's a But yeah, we're just kind of cruising. We're on a lower speed. We're actually only on speed two right now. And we're going at a pretty good speed. I'd say probably about close to average of what you probably would maybe if you were actually canoeing for speed wise. Maybe a little bit faster. Just because it's so complicated to keep up with. <laughs> a lot of work to get to that speed and stay steady. Look, there's a guy up here fishing. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the left hand side here. Try to stay out of his way. You never want to fish off because I'm fishing. It's the same thing. His boat's kind of drifting. Getting close to like some seaweed shit over here. Oh, look at the fish right there. That was a big one too. Looked like a catfish. I think so. You got some big old catfish over there, man. Yeah, I just saw one. Big old catfish near the bonsai tree over there. Yeah. Look at the birds. Those are pin birds. Those are buttheads too. Steal your fish. I think I think the fish. Well, I think we already exited the canal. I think this is the end right here. 
coming up. But that is actually a really nice little canal. Goes over to Lake Eustis over here. There's a, uh, for bats. That's a bat house? Yep. Got some little fishing up ahead. Someone's sunbathing, but there's no sun. <laughs> well, this is over by that one area I was talking about right here, where that one guy was. Oops. See right there? Sorry. Morning. This water looks flat. Yeah, watch out for the bonsai tree though. And the pigeon. Yeah, this water looks really smooth over here. I wonder why Tavares is just so choppy. We survived. We'll get back with you guys if we see anything else, though. Um, but for right now, see you guys. This has been a fun, fun, fun adventure down the canal. Of course, we got a long ways back still, but uh, we'll be right back. Alrighty. So what we end up doing is um, after we went there, we end up getting ourselves down another canal um, over here in Lake Eustis. From when we took, we were into the Lake Dora over the Tiberi side, and we went through the canal over to Lake Eustis, um, and then just a little bit up, if we took a left out of there. Um, would be Dead River Canal. Um, the Dead River uh, happens to connect over to. Oh, there's some debris in the water. Try to go around that real quick. All right. Um, Dead River happens to connect to a restaurant up here uh, called the Hurricane Duckside. So we're gonna see. Um, hopefully, because you know, still a little bit of COVID-19 stuff out there. Hopefully that they have opened up uh, the Hurricane Dockside, because um, we're gonna go ahead and try to see if we can port um, over to there and get out. And land ahoy and have some lunch, you know. Um, so we'll let you know when we get there and see where else this adventure takes us. All right, so uh, we made it to Hurricane Dockside. It's not quite open yet, but the rain started to come down. Um, so we were, we kind of went down to the end here and then kind of looped back from Lake Harris where that canal connects to. But uh, we were able to dock here. Uh, it's all tied in, so it looks like we should be good here. And um, you tied these good, right, Cody? Not going. Never really tied one in before. Oh. So. 
I don't think it's really going to go nowhere. At least that one's pretty tight back there, so that should be good. So that's the belt there. Um, we can use the restroom and uh, try to see about getting some, but it's not quite open yet. Um, what time is it now? It's still... Is it almost open? What time do they open? 11 o'clock. 10.23, so we got about 30 minutes. All right. Yeah. Hopefully this water will pass. It shouldn't be raining too hard to where it's going to sink the boat or anything. Should be okay, right? Yeah, as long as we have, you know, maybe a bucket. Oh, wait, we got... I got a cup. Yeah, we got a cup, so you just... Be a little water splashing on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Well... We'll be right back to you as soon as uh, we see what happens next. All right, so we just left uh, Hurricane Duck side, so we're doing good here. Um, we just left out of the canal of uh, Dead River, and now we're heading back towards uh, the Lake Dora Canal. As you can see, it's kind of raining out here, but it's just kind of sprinkling. But look how, how calm the water is right now. It's really, it's a joy. There's nothing going on out here in the water, so nothing really to worry about right now at this moment. I mean, yeah, it's sprinkler, but there's no lightning in distance, no thunder. Yeah, it's just a drizzle. There's no lightning hitting the water, scaring the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would probably scare the hell out of me. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what got hit? Oh, it was a dolphin. A dolphin? This is not the ocean. Oh, it's a gator. What did that <laughs> Oh, man. So, yeah, that's how it looks out here. Another little gloomy day. We're still talking about. What we might do in the next coming up weeks, maybe take the boat back out and, and do some other adventure. What was that you were talking about, this place you were saying? Uh, I was talking about Deland. Deland? I know there's some canals out that way uh, when I would go up to Casadega, Florida. And um, I saw maybe a couple lakes out that way. Looks like it could be some fun. Hell yeah. Sorry, the motor was in lock position. I was like, I need to take the steering back over. <laughs> But yep, that's all for right now, but we'll let you know though when we get back to the canal and everything's going good. I'll try to make sure this time that I capture the ending video, because uh, uh, it seems like when we get back to Javier's when things get a little crazy. Um, when we did go through the canal though, which I didn't have on video unfortunately, um, that when we first went down Dead River, we made it all the way to Lake Harris, um, over to that side. Um, but the, the water was looking really choppy there, so uh, we were trying to see about somewhere to pull over because uh, we had to use the restroom. Um, but it didn't look like there was anywhere to, to really get to that was easy, that wasn't complicated. Um, so we ended up just looping back around and going back to the hurricane dock set that we had passed on there. Uh, but unfortunately, they didn't open until like 11 or so. And when we got there, it was still way too early. We were well, about 30 minutes or something like that of wait time. So we just went ahead and docked it and we managed to get out of the boat and, um, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, actually, wasn't that bad, Cody, was it? To get out and into the boat is what we thought. We thought it was gonna be a lot worse. Yeah, I thought we were gonna tip over the boat, but um, it was actually a whole lot easier than I thought it was to get in and out the boat. Yeah, we just kind of braced for impact and hope for the best. <laughs> Alrighty, well, we'll let you guys know though when we get back to the uh, to the Lake Lake Dora Canal, maybe a little bit more through there, and then um, as we get through. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm hoping, I'm sure you're hoping too, Cody, that the water's more calmer over in uh, <laughs> the various... Yeah, no, no chops. Please. Yeah. No chops. Yeah, it's pretty... I mean, right here, if this is like this, this is nice, isn't it? Wouldn't you say this is nice, Cody? Yes, it is nice. Nice and calm, no waves. It's just easy trailing. Yeah. And you can just tell behind the boat itself, the motor that Michael has, there's barely any waves coming off of it. So it's just clean sailing. Yeah, we're not really really uh, wasting any energy or anything like that. Because, see, that's sometimes what we'll call it the battery too more is um, not exactly the time or usage of it, but, you know, the, the choppiness of the water causes the engine to have a little more strain than what it would be if it was nice and, and clean. Oh, looks like that guy over there is about to take out his boat. Hopefully he don't cause some major ripples for us. Oh, he just... Look at that. They don't care. They're used to living around here. So. Yeah. That's like, we're in a dinky little boat, so if waves hit us, oh, I don't care. That's why I went ahead and got the flag, you know, but 
and it's kind of flopping. I mean, you can see from a distance that it's orange, so people should be able to see us, I'm hoping. But we'll be right back, though. Um, hopefully, uh, with everything goes good. All right, so we're back in the, the Doral Canal here. Uh, it's still lightly raining out. It almost looks like it's uh, uh, like we're in like the a jungle or something like that, like the wetlands, but the way it looks out here, it's kind of interesting looking out here. Hello. Oh, I think his engine stalled. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> That's a little sketchy. Yeah. And then it shuts off again. Oh, he's one of those cheaters. He was he uh he had had put it low because he saw us over and then cranked it back up. <laughs> we're just staying at a nice even pace. I wouldn't say we're really doing anything too much wrong. We can only go so fast anyway. But yeah, what, what do you think of it looks like out here? Like like I mean would you even think that you're still in a uh, mountain door or something? No, on this it, to me it feels like a miniature jungle. Yeah, like we're in the jungle. With all the cypress trees on either side. And it kind of feels like from uh, Jurassic World, uh, maybe one, Jurassic World 1, the movie. Now I'm just waiting for Stegosaurus to pop out saying, hey, how you guys doing? <laughs> I mean, it was definitely interesting looking uh, the first round when we came through here, but it's like now it's like it has like that like shady kind of tone to it, and the way that you can hear the wildlife chirping and those beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ferns that are growing in these big old cypress trees, and the, the way it all looks, it's actually just really like memorizing like the vines and stuff growing on everything. Looks like a perfect scene for like, you know, something really bad to happen or something. <laughs> what happened to Michael? Oh, their boat went over. By what? I don't know. <laughs> We're on a mission to find the Loch Ness Monster. I think he's out here in the canal. Not too sure. But yep, so we went ahead, we had our lunch, we made it back through uh, Lake Eustace. And um, now we're going back down through the canal, and we'll be making our way back to um, uh, Lake Dora, which is over by the Tiveri side, um, is where this port comes out to. And we'll get back with you then when we get there. Alrighty. Alright, so we finally made it out of the uh, Lake Dora Canal. We're back over here onto Lake Dora. Um, you can see the Tiveri Seaplane Park right there that we're heading towards. Um, the water is a little bit choppy, but nowhere as near how it was before. I mean, it was like almost un unable to get through. But um, this looks a little bit more promising. I'm just trying to stay a little bit farther from the shore as I can, so that way we don't end up getting pushed into, you know, the shoreline, like we were. We were what was happening on the way out this morning from Tavares. Um, so right over there, you can see that orange uh, flag over there, and that big building right there, and the uh, ferry boat. That's uh, the Tavares Seaplane Park. We'll be getting to. So not much longer, and we'll be landing. <laughs> it's been a fun adventure. We went from Lake Dora down uh, the Lake Dora Canal, or the Dora Canal, from Lake Dora to Dora Canal, to uh, the Eustace Lake, to Dead River, and then we went out, we, we took a look at Lake Harris. Didn't really go too much out there, we just kind of stayed in that canal over there on Dead River, but we did see uh, Lake Harris, and then we turned around and went back to the, um, on Dead River, there's a Hurricane Dockside uh, uh, grill and bar that we went to to have a little lunch at. Left there finished getting out of the river, the river went down um, Lake Eustace to back to Lake Dora Canal, and now we're back over to uh, Lake Dora. <laughs> lot to say, lot to happen. We're here. Uh, it finally stopped raining, so that's a good thing. So now we just gotta get landed. Anything to say, Cody? Had a lot of fun. It was enjoyable going through the canal. It's nice and calm. And, um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Alrighty, 
Yep, we'll get back with you once we get docked. Well, I would say land ahoy. Uh, we finally made it back over here. You can see from the distance there. As we were there. And now, Cody got the hell out of the boat and took off the bike vest. He said, hell with this. He's done. <laughs> yeah, not, not the best uh, seating deal, but we're, we're working with it. Get out of the boat myself. No, there's people. There we go. People actually come to the park? What? <sighs> well, we made it. That was our adventure. We survived, right, Cody? Yeah, we did. <laughs> we ain't dead yet. <laughs> so until next time, keep on canoeing.